In this demo, I am going to show you the FortiSim integration with FortiSur. I am going to do that by demonstrating an attack scenario that will include FortiGate and FortiDeceptor additionally. The attacker is able to perform the reconnaissance in the initial phase and has entered the network by gaining access to a decoy. The 40 deceptor successfully lured the attacker and it generated an alert and forwarded to 40 sim. Now let's go to 40 sim incident tab and take a look. We can see that 40 sim has recorded the attacker's source IP addresses that they have logged into the decoy. We'll use this IP address 89.234.157.254 for this demo. Let's see more about the infiltration from the event details. The raw messages provide more information about the attack details and we can confirm the SSH connections have been established. Now that we have the attacker's IP address, let's check if it's harmful by executing an IP enrichment process. To do that, we are going to the action tab because it's integrated with FortiSur. I have the playbooks available to me. I will go ahead and select the IP reputation playbook. Now, the result shows the attacker IP address is malicious. Let's take a look at the details. Please note, virus total returned 13 malicious words. Let's log in to the FortiSor and navigate to the exact FortiSor playbook and see how the IP address is being evaluated. Here are the executed playbooks. We are going to take a look at virus turtle reputation reference playbook. In condition 2, if the malicious votes are greater than 1, then the IP address is being flagged as malicious. Now we are going to take an action to block the IP address on firewall from FortiSim using the FortiSol connector. On the FortiGate, I am showing the attacker's IP address 89.234.157.254 is not on the block list. Please note the firewall policy name and the address group name. On the FortiSim, I am going to the FortiSol connectors that will block attacker's IP address. In the connection parameters, I am entering the firewall policy name and address group from the FortiGate. Here we executed the connector and I will confirm on the firewall. Now we can see the attacker's IP address is part of the block list address group. Finally, from the administration perspective, you can see how easy it is to execute any FortiSor playbooks, connectors and automate the response action from the FortiSim console. This is the value added by integrating FortiSor and FortiSim along with other Fortinet products. Thanks for watching.